So welcome to episode three of our min-max run, where I pretty much broke one of my only rules about 20 times. Um, <laughs> and that rule was to not reset, but we'll get more into that in a few seconds here. So we have our Clint cutscene. Just because we had the copper we fished up yesterday. We ended up with eight, which is kind of nice. Um, and then we'll go over some of our goals for the day. It's not a super exciting one. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be a lot just like yesterday of fishing. So yeah, main goals are fishing. <laughs> uh, catching as many catfish as possible. It's kind of the biggest thing. Uh, we really want to reach fishing level five. Hopefully get enough iron ore so we don't have to buy any. And then get enough bait for the rest of the run. Where I made a cool little typo right there. And then I'm going to fish more and then fish until I pass out. So that's what you're in for. So I like to just start out by fishing down here for a few hours. Try and get lucky with the catfish until I have to go over to Willie's and sell all the remaining fish from yesterday so I can buy a bunch of bait. Um, it's kind of hard to catch catfish on day three, especially if you didn't get a ton of luck the day before with fishing, just because your bar is so small. Um, so you get just, I don't know, personally I get really frustrated when I can't catch the catfish. Um, so the other option is to go to the lake and just fish up there, even though it's not worth as much money. So just for an example, over at the mountain, the best fish you can get is the largemouth bass, which is worth 187 gold at gold quality with level five fishing. They're pretty rare for the most part, so you won't get a ton of them. And then down here at the river during the rain, the catfish is worth 375 for gold quality at level five. And they're, they're pretty common, I'd say. So you can probably guarantee anywhere from like seven to 15 of them. So overall, I'd say it's worth it if you can reliably catch the catfish. But if you don't really want to deal with the stress of it, the mountain is just as well. It's, you just might not be able to afford some early things. But I don't know, give it a try, you know, see what you can do. Like this catfish right here, like I had no chance. There was no way I was gonna get it with it darting so fast and even with like being able to fish with a controller, which I think is way easier, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. So yeah, around uh, eight o'clock, I usually make my way to Willie's just to sell whatever fish I have and then stock up on bait. I don't spend a ton of time at the beach when it rains just because it's not that valuable. Um, sometimes like you can get some decent beach forage but it's otherwise it's not really worth it unless you really are looking for eel for like later on runs but so I'll just empty all this out and then uh, hopefully take the chest with me because I didn't craft an additional chest to keep with me down at the river but something you'll want to do is have a chest on you pretty much anytime you're fishing before you have the inventory upgrade just because you're going to constantly be catching weird stuff and you don't want to run out of space. It's really frustrating. And that was kind of a waste of energy, but that's okay. I think generally I want somewhere around five or 600 bait total. You don't have to get it all at this point, but it's nice to have. That way you don't ever have to come back here again. Oh. But so as soon as we go outside, these bubbles are the reason I reset like 20 sometimes. I was really trying to make like, okay, so these bubbles last for like eight hours or something crazy like that. And I was really trying to make it worth it to fish half my whole day down here at the ocean because the fish aren't really worth anything, but with the bubbles being like four times as fast as regular fishing, I figured it would probably be worth it just to fish down here for a while. And then I could still get back to the river in time and catch, you know, something like 10 catfish still. But I just couldn't make it happen. Like no matter what I did, I probably played 
you know, this 30 minute day, like, God, yeah, probably 20 times trying to make that happen. And it just wasn't worth it. So my advice is <laughs> don't do that. Don't make that mistake like I did. Because it's just not, it's not worth the frustration just for a couple extra catfish. Um, so this was like my final attempt at it. It ended up being pretty good overall. Um, as you can see, I've sped it up a bit just because it's, I think, something like 10 full minutes of fishing. And even sped up, it's like four minutes. And it's not really the best thing to watch. I and mean, it's kind of cool to see some of the chests that you might fish up, but it's not that cool to see me like making a little green bar go up and down. <laughs> so I don't know. I also, so this video is day three and four combined just because both of them are such heavy fishing days. And I figured I might as well just speed them up and get through them before we break things up a little bit more um, with day five. But yeah, so I just fished down here. I fished down here for, I think it's until like five o'clock. Um, I think, yeah, that sounds right. But either way, it's kind of nice to have the bubbles right here because I can get into Willie's shop right away and just sell all the junk I know I don't need. Um, and I still have my chest over there. I couldn't remember what his pathing was like. So I left the chest where it was, so as not to get it destroyed on accident. I don't know if you know, but if you leave a chest somewhere and it's in the path of an NPC, they'll just destroy it. So even if you have stuff in it, as far as I know, they'll destroy the whole thing and you lose everything. And there's no... There's a couple interesting fish in the ocean. Uh, I talked about it a little bit yesterday, or last episode, but... Um, the eel is really the most valuable thing. And it doesn't even start spawning until 4, and its value is... mostly for cooking and for the community center. So catching one or two is probably good, but you really don't need it, so... Again, that's another reason not to fish down here. The increased amount of chests was really nice um, while fishing at the bubbles. You don't actually get more chests from the bubbles, but you do, you know, you catch so many more fish that your chance, I guess, naturally goes up. So that was cool. It's a little benefit. But I still, I don't know if this was actually worth doing as opposed to just fishing for catfish. Um, but it did get my fishing level up to make the catfishing easier. And then I also got some gold ore. Um, ore from chests early on is probably one of the most valuable things you can get aside from rubies and diamonds and emeralds. But the ore is so valuable because I'll be buying iron ore and gold ore for this run. So on the fifth, I'll need to buy any, I'll need to buy enough iron ore to get up to 25 pieces so I can make five iron bars in order to upgrade my pickaxe, um, you know, to iron on the seventh day. So anything I don't catch is going to cost me quite a bit of gold. So like if I only get, you know, if I don't get any iron, I have to buy 25, 150 gold pieces of iron ore. That's super expensive, so anything I can get now is great. And then the copper is valuable too because you're under a pretty solid time crunch on day five for getting out of the mines by around one o'clock to get to Clint's and uh, start upgrading all your stuff, so ore is really what you want. And then after that, um, probably the gems. You can sell them if you want. But I don't think that's the best idea. I think it's better just to keep them to trade to the desert trader later on when you're in the Skull Caverns. But we'll kind of we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. It won't be a while. So this is my final trip to Willie's. I got a little bit over 500 bait, which should last me for 
the rest of the run, I hope. And I know that doesn't sound great, because that means I'm going to catch like 500 fish. But that's just kind of how the beginning of this run goes. So I'll fast forward through pretty much all of it. Or start cutting it out, which is very likely, because it's just not that interesting. And so I have about seven hours left until the catfish stops spawning. So if I can just catch one an hour, um, that's pretty much all I really need. And I'd be happy with that. I think that's what I end up with, but I don't remember. Um, obviously I record these voiceovers after I play. Um, that way I can speed stuff up without losing any voice. And then it's easier to mess with audio levels and stuff if I do it like that too. And then I can also add in my own music instead of using the Stardew music, which I like, but... Or I guess this is Stardew music, but I like uh, picking and choosing the songs more than listening to like the spring song over and over again. Or like the weird audio gaps you get. Like sometimes you just get no music for the day, which is weird. <laughs> oh, and that's my favorite thing that happens right there. When you get like the perfect catch and a chest. That's one of my, one of my favorite things. Even if the chest is just bait. Yeah, so that's it. That's the end of the bubbles. Um, so I just gotta pick up everything I have and head back to the river. This is gonna be another one of the days where, like I mentioned before, I'm just gonna fish until I pass out. I should easily level up in my fishing because of those bubbles, so I don't have to worry about the energy loss again. Um, this part, so I always have a hard time with this, like, I feel really weird throwing stuff away. So I end up eating like unnecessary fish, but I really wanted to take that chest with me instead of having to craft another one for 50 wood um, way earlier in the day. So I don't know, I got lucky. We had enough and I just had to throw away some of the fish basically, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, sometimes that chest will go in the water though. Um, I don't know if it still happens, but it used to, where if you break something by hitting it over and over again with your bare hands, for some reason it would just go in the water, or it would just, <laughs> yeah. Um, and that was a, that was always really brutal, after like fishing for 10 hours. Um, and then your, your chest just falls in the water, and then you have to restart. But luckily it didn't happen, so. We're good. Just heading back over here. I think I've, I don't think I've ever caught a catfish in real life. I've caught a, like a bottom feeder sort of fish like a catfish, but it wasn't very hard. And I don't think they're very hard to catch because they're just kind of combing across the water. So I don't know why they chose to make them or like they're combing across the bottom of the, uh, the lake or whatever you're in, you know, in real life. So I don't know why they made them so hard to catch in the game. Whereas like a tuna, I mean, I don't know, there's a suspension of disbelief, right? Because you can't catch a tuna with a regular fishing rod if you would catch a catfish with, because those things are like absolutely massive in comparison, so. Which I don't know if you know, like for some reason I didn't know this, um, but tuna are like scarily big. Um, I don't know if all of them are, but a lot of them are like eight feet long. Which is insane. I just didn't really think about it like that. Like they're over, sometimes up to like 500 pounds. I don't know what it was in my mind that made me think they were small, but they're not. They're massive. So it's kind of funny to imagine your little farmer reeling in a 500 pound tuna with his little tiny fishing rod made of bamboo, you know, <laughs> but it's all right. So I, I just got in that chest, I got 10 iron ore, which is crazy, because that's 1,500 gold I don't have to sell. Um, which is a big deal. I mean, especially early on when even a 100 gold can be really important. 
and then gold ore. Hopefully I can get a lot of gold ore because that's like 400, I think 400 gold per ore. And that kind of adds up really fast. And I guess I paused the game right here. <laughs> Oops. I don't know why. Sometimes I leave those in if they're not too long, but I don't usually pause too often. I keep having to like re-record -re stuff um, because my stomach, I don't know, I guess I'm really hungry so my stomach is crumbling. I woke up like, I woke up at like two in the morning for some reason and I've just been up since then because, I don't know, it just, it feels weird to like get up for two hours and go back to bed. So I'm just kind of up, but I didn't eat breakfast and I just drank like a huge cup of coffee. So now I'm just like, I don't know, my stomach is just yelling at me, I guess. But it, it gets picked up by this microphone, which is kind of obnoxious. I probably just need a pop filter or something. But it's okay. Um, so something I'm finding out right now is I really don't like Haley's theme song, which is what this is. Um, I know she's generally like the most... Oh, there goes my stomach. Damn, dude. Um, I know she's usually like the most hated character in the game. But I don't really mind her, except for that song. Like that song is, I don't know what it is, it kind of rubs me the wrong way. I'm still gonna leave it in, but it's just not great. Compared to this, which is like Penny's theme song, which is the most like peaceful and chill thing in the world. But I don't know, I never go for Penny as the bachelorette, I guess. I guess this is just Earth Angel, kind of. Like it's a version of Earth Angel almost. <laughs> Maybe that's why I like it. Um, also, I just caught another chest with more iron ore in it. So I'm, in, I'm getting into a pretty good position for this early, early game. So that's another reason I chose to keep this run. I would usually wait until around 1 a.m. to, to determine whether or not I'm going to keep the run, which means I play through the full, like, I think it's around 30 minutes before I decide if I restart, and that is kind of hard, but like I said, I don't recommend doing that. It's just something I do. Yeah, so 21. I have 21 iron ore and nine gold, which is crazy. I think that's probably the most I've ever gotten on one of these runs. And then I won't be back at this chest again for a really long time. Probably not until it rains next. So I have to just take what's most valuable with me, as well as things like ore and coal, things that I would probably need um, and not want to have to run all the way down here for. So that's what I'm doing now, is just kind of deciding what's best and what's worst. Usually I'll leave chubs, because that's just a food source. I will never sell any chubs, um, unless I really, really need a couple extra bucks. But mostly, I just use them as a food source. And then I'll leave the eel, because I'm not going to be turning in anything from the um, fish tank bundle for a really long time. So if I'm missing an eel, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then yeah, I passed out. And so I got my level five fishing, which is my, that was my main goal. Just so that fish are a little bit more valuable when I do have to sell them tomorrow. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, but today's more of the same stuff. I'm gonna fish again. I'm catching largemouth bass this time because I'll be at the lake. And then I need to make sure I sell enough fish to upgrade my pickaxe, buy any iron ore I need, buy a backpack, get 20 potato seeds for farming and then I need to fish more obviously and I need to not forget to sell stuff which is my biggest problem and then hopefully get my fishing level up to seven because I actually already got six and then other good news is I got 25 iron ore um, so I have my full stack which means I don't need um, to buy any which is crazy um, the only thing that'll impact is I won't get the cave as early as I usually do because I won't have to sell as much stuff as early. And I, 
guess that's it really. That doesn't really impact too much because the cave doesn't really matter. It's good for like early energy and for completing the community center, but you just don't need it, so. That's all good. So what I can do now is use the, what is it? It's gonna be 2,000 for the upgrade, 2,000 for the backpack, and then I think it's 1,000 for 20 potato seeds. So I only need to sell 5,000 gold worth on at the end of the day, which actually is really easy. And I could probably do it right now, but I also need to chop these trees down because I'm running pretty low on storage space and I'm also running low on wood in general because tomorrow I'll, or I guess not tomorrow, but the next day I'll have to make a scarecrow. And I really wanna be able to do that and not waste energy, um, especially if it's raining because you don't wanna miss out on catfishing if you don't have to. In this chest I'm bringing with me just so I can fish at the mountain um, without having to throw away stuff, just like at the lake, or just like at the uh, river, so. That's what I'm doing, I'm going to fish more, and I think I'm just gonna cut all this out, all this fishing, because none of these fish are really hard to get, it's just largemouth bass, chub, uh, bullhead, and carp. And so it's not really gonna be too crazy to watch. You might notice I'm leaving all that forage on the ground, and I'll pick it up tomorrow on my way to the mines. But anyway, I'm, I think I'm just gonna really cut this out because it's, it gets old, you know. And unless I get something really crazy, I'll leave it in, but otherwise I'll just save you the, uh, <laughs> it'll save you the time. So there's a chub and the main magma geodes are good, but there's nothing, nothing crazy. Unless I get like a Neptune's glaive, you won't see anything else from this. I did get two chests in a row though, which is really nice. So something weird I did end up getting um, was a iridium ore, which is kind of rare to get this early on. It's not really valuable to me because I'm not going to sell it and it's just gonna take up chest space, but it's not that common. I also got four emeralds, which I'll trade in for cheese at the Desert Trader, which will be really great for for food. Um, and then the fire quartz, which is really great because that'll make um, the blacksmith bundle way easier to do. Or not the blacksmith, but the, uh, what is that called, gem? Oh man, I don't remember what it's called. It's next to the blacksmith's bundle. It'll make finishing that <laughs> minecart section easier. Is all I really mean. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna grab everything with me and head back. I don't need to grab the gold and the copper, th or the coal this time, because I'm gonna swing by this chest on the way up to the mines tomorrow. So I can leave a lot of stuff I normally wouldn't leave behind. And then I'm just going to go home and sell the stuff I need. Uh, I'll probably cut out all the time I spend sitting and calculating how much I need to sell. Because again, that's just me like tabbing back and forth between either a calculator in the wiki or on my phone adding up what I need to sell. So I'll probably just like fade into whatever I'm actually selling. Those 18 rice shoots also will be really nice to pad my farming level. Because my next goal is to hit farming level 2 so I can start making sprinklers. Um, that's the reason I am buying 20 potatoes. Because that's what that'll get me. Um, so yeah, so here's what I'm selling. I'm selling all the geodes just because they're worth a decent amount and I don't feel like cracking them all right now. And then I'm also selling the fish that I probably won't get much more of, like flounder and halibut, just because they take up inventory space and they're not used for anything else, so. That's it, man. Um, I'm gonna plant a few rice shoots and then hit the sack. And hopefully I should have enough, hopefully I did my math right <laughs> and I'll have a little bit more than 5,000. 
anything extra I would just spend on extra seeds but I usually try to do it down to like 10 gold just because I don't want to waste it uh, if I don't need the seeds now why buy them now and I didn't get to plant all those but I ended up exhausting myself and I didn't want to pass out on the farm for some reason so whatever there we are so I hit level 7, which is great. That puts me right on pace for where I want to be. I want to catch the legend soon, so... Yeah, see, there we go. I was only 27 gold over. That's not too bad. Anyway, yeah, I want to catch the legend as soon as possible, because that's worth, like, 10 grand, so... That'll probably come be coming up kind of soon. But for now, that's it. Um, this episode's kind of weird, I know, because it's the two days of fishing, but... I think next time I fish for a long stretch, I'll do like three three days in a row. I don't know. I'll find a way to make it work. And I will listen to the feedback provided. But yeah, I'll see you in a couple days. Thanks.